This father and mother dead in an apparent murder-suicide in Nassau County, leaving three children without their parents. We're told the woman's mother found the couple dead inside their Hilliard home while the children were at school. The home is located on Pine Street, just west of US-1. John LaForce's Alicia Booth is joining us live from the neighborhood with what she's heard from a friend of the family. Alicia? Everyone I've spoke with who, who knows this family says they are absolutely shocked. A man and his wife of 19 years are both dead, but what people here in this community are having trouble coming to terms with is the fact that three children have lost both their parents in one day. This is 53-year-old Adele Hababa's Facebook page, known to his friends as Eddie. Hababa was from Tammy Makhlouf's view, a very loving family man. I, we don't know the true story yet, but no one knows what's in someone's heart. I just can't imagine this. Um, it would be way out of character. Um, he comes from a great village. My husband grew up with him. I mean, he's just a good guy. Mahlouf, who didn't want her face on camera, says Hababa was born in Syria and owned a local convenience store. Nassau County Sheriff Bill Leeper tells us they got a call from Aline Hababa's mother that she had found her daughter and son-in-law inside the house, both dead. It appears to be a murder-suicide. It looks like the male shot the female and then shot himself. Sheriff Leeper says the weapon was a rifle and the couple was found in the bathroom. The Hababas had three children together, ages 14, 11, and 6, who were all at schools nearby when the shooting happened. Two of them played with this neighbor's children on a regular basis. How are you going to explain this to your kids? Just tell them that this is an evil world and evil happens even in small rural communities. Uh, even your neighbor. The sheriff tells us the Hababa children are with their maternal grandmother tonight. He also said that his department has no record of any domestic violence calls at this home. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is still out here investigating tonight. We're live in Hilliard. Alicia Booth, Channel 4, the local station. Alicia, did the neighbors say they heard anything? Well, everyone I spoke with said they didn't hear any gunshots, but one neighbor who did not want to go on camera said that he heard a woman screaming frantically about 1030 this morning. He killed my sister. He killed my sister. Alicia Booth reporting live to us from Hilliard. Thank you, Alicia.